some chair yoga with Lindsay. Um, go ahead and find yourself a really just a sturdy chair, something that, that you can sit on, preferably one without arms, um, as they are likely to get in your way. Um, as far as props, we're really not going to use anything for props. If you do like to have a block or something, maybe finding just something in your house that is like sturdy, that is at a height that you can reach and use um, for your practice. So um, just coming to sit in your chair as you're ready. Find your sit bones rooted into the chair and then the crown of your head reaching away from the tailbone as you feel the spine grow long and just relax the shoulders down away from the ears. You can root your feet down into the earth. Engage the pelvic floor in the belly as you lift them in and up, finding your mula bandha and then your uddiyana bandha. And really that's just the pelvic floor lifting, the mula bandha, feeling that grounding energy. And then the, the uddiyana bandha is the low belly lifting in and up, that lifting energy. So finding that space as the spine is tall, the shoulders are relaxed, the crown of the head is reaching. Close your eyes if that's comfortable for you, or just soften the gaze if that's easier. Just begin to notice your breath as it flows in and out through the body. Notice how the breath feels as you fill up and let go. And as you're ready, really beginning to deepen the breath as it flows in through the nose, down the throat, through the chest into the belly as you expand the belly, chest and back, inhaling. And then as you exhale, maybe just sigh it out. Inhale, fill the belly, chest and back. Exhale, sigh it out, let go, cleansing breath. Inhaling fresh, new, clean oxygen. Exhale, sighing out all that stale energy. Again, inhale, fill up. And exhale to let go. Just giving yourself permission to use this cleansing breath anytime, any place in your practice, in your day, whatever you feel you could just let go of something, see if maybe that cleansing breath can help you. And as you're ready, we'll begin to move into our ujjayi breath. Simply means victorious breath, and we find that breath by breathing in and out through the nose. We continue to fill the belly, chest, and back, and exhale contracting to press that breath back up and out through the nose. Inhale through the nose, fill up. Exhale out the nose. Inhale, open, expand. Exhale, contract. Inhale, fill up. And exhale, press that air back up and out. And just notice the sound of your breath, perhaps even noticing the slight restriction in the back of your throat as the breath flows in and out, creating this audible rhythmic sound like the waves of the ocean. Listening to the breath as it flows in and out of your body. using this ujjayi breath as it helps to warm the body from the inside, preparing us for this movement. It also helps to calm 
flow and focus the mind, helping to guide us through our movement. With your hands on your thighs, pressing the hands down, inhale as you pull your heart forward through the shoulders, gazing up into a seated cow pose, and exhaling to round and tuck the spine into a cow pose. Cat pose. Inhaling to cow. Exhaling to cat. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cow. Again, inhale cow pose. Exhale cat pose. And as you inhale, Bringing the spine back up, stacking it one vertebrae over the other, stacking over the sacrum. The shoulders relax down, the crown of the head reaches high. Reach your fingertips down towards the earth. The heart is just slightly open, shining forward. The back of the head presses back in line with the tailbone, just aligning the spine here. Feeling that engagement of the core to support your spine. And really feeling the sit bones rooted in your chair. And making sure we're not just leaning back in our chair. We want to stay active. So maybe even scooting a little bit forward. Really feeling the feet grounded. Feeling that energy of grounding coming into the pelvic floor area. And then lifting the core in and up. Find support for the spine. Relax the shoulders down. Reach the fingertips down towards the earth. Crown of the head reaches. Spine aligned, so strong through the core. Inhale, circle the arms out and up to the sky. Exhale, hug the hands into heart center. Press the thumbs into the heart. Maybe close the eyes again. And bring an intention into your practice today. Maybe for our intention today, we find ourselves here in this moment, in our chair, on our mat, with our breath, with each movement as it is, without thought or worry of anything else going on. Simply to be right here, right now. Interlace the fingers, lift the elbows as you inhale, shoulders stay relaxed down, and exhale, press the palms away. Inhale, the palms reach up towards the sky, and then exhale, the palms back together into your heart. Inhale as you interlace the fingers, elbows lift, exhale, press the palms away. Inhale, palms reach for the sky. Exhale, palms back to heart center. Inhale, elbows lift. Exhale, palms press. Inhale, palms reach. Exhale, palms together at heart center. Inhale, this time press the palms up towards the sky. Reach up through the fingertips. And then exhale, the left hand to the right side. The right hand can come to the seat of your chair just behind you. Press down through the right fingers. Lengthen the spine. Create space between your vertebrae. And exhale, twisting to the right, gazing over the right shoulder, or at least in that direction. Inhale, sitting taller. Exhale, twisting deeper. Again, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen, and slowly unwind, walking the left hand to the left side, the right hand to the right side. Inhale, sit tall, and exhale, relax the shoulders down, coming back to homeostasis. Inhale, circle your arms, reach up. And then exhale, right hand to left side, left hand comes just behind the left cheek, press down through the left fingers, the palm, thumb. Lengthen the spine and exhale to twist. Inhale to taller. 
Exhale to twist. Inhale, reaching. Exhale, twist. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen as you slowly unwind. Right hand comes back to right thigh, left hand back to left thigh. Inhale, pull the heart forward as you come back into your cow pose. Exhale, round and tuck the spine. Inhale, heart pull through the shoulders to into cow pose. And exhale, round and tuck the spine as the shoulder blades pull away from one another. Inhale, one more time, cow. Exhale for cow. Inhaling to come back to sit. Shoulders relax down, spine is aligned. And as you exhale, drop your chin to your chest. Inhale, roll the right ear to the right shoulder. Exhale, the chin back to chest. Inhale, left ear to the left shoulder. Exhale, chin comes back to chest. Inhale, lift the gaze. Notice if any tension or anything is built up in your shoulders during these neck stretches. Also notice if there's any unwanted sensations such as pain happening in the neck. And please allow yourself, give yourself permission to let go of the movement. Do what's right for you. Make this your practice. If it's not right for you, don't do it. Inhale, sit tall, lengthen. Relax the shoulders and exhale the chin to the chest. Inhale, the right ear to the right shoulder. And as you exhale, just stay here for a moment. Inhale, the right fingertips down towards the earth. Reach the fingertips out and around to bring the right hand to the left ear. Just gently resting the hand on the ear. We're not pulling on the head. The light, light weight of the hand just resting on the ear is more than enough to add some extra sensation into the neck. Perhaps the left fingertips reach out to the left towards the earth, deepening that stretch. Again, inhale here. And exhale. Noticing if you begin holding the breath and come back to it. Breathing in and out through the nose. One more deep breath in. And exhale the left hand back to the left side. Inhale the right arm straight up to the sky. And then bring the back of the right fingertips to the right cheek and press the head back up to center. Release the right hand down to meet the left. Inhale to tall. Exhale, relax the shoulders down, drop the chin to the chest. Inhale, left ear to left shoulder. Exhale, stay. Inhale, left fingertips reach down towards the earth. Relax the left shoulder down as you inhale. Again, the left ear just reach up and around. Left hand rests on the right ear. Just gently resting. We're not pressing on the ear. More than enough weight for the neck. And of course, letting go of any of these options if they cause unwanted sensations or just not right for you. Always going back to that first option or no option at all. Perhaps staying here, maybe the right fingertips reach towards the earth away from you. Deepening the stretch through the neck. Inhaling and exhaling. Again, inhale and exhale. One more deep breath in. Deep breath out. Last inhale. And then exhale the right hand back to the right side. Inhale the left fingers back up to the sky and bring the back of the left hand to the left cheek. Pressing the head back up as you inhale. 
can exhale, release. Left hand comes down to meet the right. Inhale, sit tall, relax the shoulders down. And as you exhale, just drop the chin to the chest. Inhale, reaching one hand forward, up and back. To allow the hand to rest on the back of the head. About the place where a high ponytail would be. And again, the hand is simply resting. We're not pulling. We're not causing extra pressure. We're just lightly, gently resting the hand on the back of the head. Breathing here, even if the throat is constricted. Perhaps even squeezing toxins out of the thyroid here as you breathe in and out. Couple more breaths. Take one more inhale. One more exhale. Inhale, reaching the right hand up and around, bringing the fingertips, the back of the hand to the chin, lifting the gaze as you come back to center. Release the hand, release the shoulders, noticing what's there. And if you're still with me, if it feels all right for you, allowing the head to fall back, the mouth to open, the jaw to fall, the eyes to be open. And just notice here if perhaps you could relax your forehead, feel the brow release down, relax the eyelids and the eyeball, the cheeks, nose, ears, and relaxing your jaw. Relaxing your teeth, gums, tongue, lips. Allowing your gaze to simply be up towards the sky with the entire face simply relaxing. Breath in through the nose and out through the open mouth. One more breath here. Inhale the mouth close. And exhale, hugging the chin back to center. Just noticing, taking a moment here to come back into the stillness, the space of homeostasis or equanimity, finding balance. After all of those stretches, allowing yourself to come back into a place of ease, coming back to this moment, perhaps noticing any changes from the beginning of practice to now. And then as you're ready, We'll inhale, really lengthen the spine. Feel that core come back to engagement if you've lost it at all. And we'll simply hinge forward over the thigh. You can keep the hands on your thigh. Maybe the hands come down to some props that you've brought into your practice. Maybe you have a block at home or something else you've decided to use. Or maybe you can rest the belly onto the thighs and bring the fingers all the way down and just allow the head, neck, and shoulders to relax. Take another inhale. And as you exhale, really hug your chin into the chest and slowly bring one hand to one thigh followed by the other. Using your hands to help rolling yourself back up, shoulders roll back and down. The head is the last to rise as you inhale. 
circle the arms, reach up, gaze up. Exhale, hands come back to heart. From here, I'll invite you to bring your hands to your right thigh and hug your right thigh in towards your chest. Maybe your hands stay on the thigh, maybe they come around to the shin. It's wherever you can reach, wherever is comfortable for you, where you can still keep length in the spine and the shoulders relaxed. Flex the toes back towards the shin. Staying here, and maybe you point the toes away from the shin. Just noticing the difference in sensation. Flex the toes. Exhale, point the toes. Inhale, flex. Exhale, point. And then from here, just rotating the ankle. Allow the toes to point around, drawing circles with your toes. It doesn't matter which direction. And then as you're ready, drawing circles the other way. Flex the toes. Point the toes. Flex the toes. And then maybe we bring the hands back to the thigh. The bottom of the thigh extends through the right heel. Point the toes away. Flex the toes in. Maybe your hands stay for support. Maybe you let go for this leg lift. Maybe the hands are going to reach up for the sky. For three. For two. And one. Inhale. Exhale. Release the hands to the chair and the heel slowly lowers down with control. Pull the toes back towards your shin. Lengthen the spine. Holding onto the base of the chair. Hinging forward. Shoulders away from the ears. Lead with your heart as you bow over your right thigh. Inhaling and exhale. Take one more deep inhale and one more deep exhale. Inhale slowly and gently, walking yourself back up to sit. We'll hug the right thigh back into the chest, point the toes down, and then again, flex the toes, pull the toes back towards the shin. Bring your right hand to the shin and your left hand to your foot. As we bring the right ankle to the left side, really keeping the right toes actively flexed back towards the shin. And then you can press the right side down towards the earth, opening into this right hip. Knowing that this may or may not be a pose for you, perhaps you extend the left heel out and allow that right ankle to cross over the left shin. And again, we can keep the right toes flexed and just press down into the inside of the right thigh, still opening the hip. But if you have that space, left foot is down, right ankle to the top of the left thigh, and find your hip opener. Inhale as you walk yourself back up to sit, 
one vertebrae stacks over the other, relax the shoulders down, and always taking your time, keeping your chin hugged into your chest until you're stacked back up, allowing the blood pressure to normalize slowly. And then as you're ready, we'll bring the hands to the left thigh, hug the left knee into the chest, flex the toes, point the toes, flex the toes, and point the toes. Flex and point. Flex and point. Perhaps drawing circles in one direction with the toes. Just rolling out the ankle. And then as you're ready, pausing and taking the circles the other direction. Always finding balance on each side. So often we simply think of balance as being able to stand on one foot or on a narrow space. But balance is so much. I mean, equanimity between each side. I mean, strength and flexibility that's equal on one side to the other. And then point the toes and flex the toes. Point the toes, flex the toes. We'll extend the left heel out, keep the toes flexed back in, hugging the energy back into the body. Maybe the hands stay on the thigh, or maybe you turn this into a leg lift and really hugging the energy in that left hip, the thighs, hugging into the hip socket, hugging it and stay strong. Maybe the arms even reach up for that extra little bit of challenge, pressing down through the right foot, hugging in through the left toes. Remember, you can always stay holding on. Take another inhale. And then exhale, slowly releasing the left heel down. Flex the left toes back into the body. Hug the left hip into the hip socket. Hands release to the chair. Holding on to the base of the chair, finding length through the spine. The shoulders relax down away from the ears. And the heart hugs forward, leads you to bow over the back. Finding the stretch in the left hamstring. Really hugging the left hip into the hip socket. Rooting down through the left heel, flexing the left toes back towards the shin. Inhaling to lengthen, exhaling to bow. Breathing here. Another deep inhale and deep exhale. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale. Slowly, we can bring the right hand back to the right side, pressing yourself all the way back up. We'll hug the left thigh in with both hands. Flex the toes, point the toes, and then flex them back in. We'll bring the right hand to the left shin and bring the left ankle to the right thigh. Pressing the left thigh down towards the earth, making sure we keep the left toes active. This helps keep the ankle and the knee joint safe. Staying active through the foot and staying here, or maybe we're not here. Maybe we can't come into this pose and we need to extend the right leg out and bring that left ankle to the top of the left calf or all the way down to the right ankle. And just finding the external rotation in your left hip. Remembering that every body is different. So find your version of the pose, find your stretch. We're all seeking similar sensations but they certainly will look very different in each of our bodies. So find your pose, breathing and keep the left toes active. We don't get lazy in these poses. We keep our joints safe. Inhaling and exhaling. Take another deep breath, inhale and exhale. Remembering you're in control of any pressure that you're putting on the thigh. So allow yourself to give yourself what you need. Maybe you release a little. Maybe you give yourself more. Listening to your body. You know what's right. You can feel that. Breathe into it. And then notice the motions, sensations, whatever comes up for you here. Breathe into it. Notice it, acknowledge it, and release it. Take another deep inhale. And exhale. 
more and more breath. Slowly as you're ready, bringing the left hand to the outside of the left thigh. We'll hug the left thigh back into the body. Extend through the left heel. Flex and point. Flex and point and rotate. And slowly release that left foot all the way down with control. From here, both feet on the ground. We're going to spread them a little wider than hip width distance. Maybe a little wider than even the chair. And then pressing the thighs away, really finding that opening through the hips. We'll bring the hands inside the thighs, lengthen, and exhale to hinge forward, bowing. Again, leading with the heart. You can keep your hands on your thighs. You could bring them down to any props that you may be using, or all the way down to the earth, if that's comfortable. If it's comfortable, releasing the head, neck, and shoulders, just relaxing them here. And just allowing yourself to surrender to this bowl, keeping your feet rooted into the earth, that strength and grounding through the legs is helping us to stay strong. And then release through the upper body. So maybe you shake and nod the head here. We'll take just a couple more breaths. And then taking your time, keeping the chin tucked into the chest. Inhale, exhale, hug that chin back. And, and we'll slowly bring one hand to one thigh and the other hand to the other thigh, rooting through the feet, rooting through the hands, chin tucked the chest, slowly stacking. Back up one vertebrae over the other. Keep the chin tucked in. Slowly and gently rising back up. Really taking your time here to allow the blood pressure to even back out. Relaxing the shoulders down. Inhale, circle the arms out and up. And then exhale, left forearm to left thigh. Right arm is going to reach up, maybe even pulling that right shoulder back in space. And exhale to extend the right arm overhead. Feel a side body stretch. Inhale, get longer. Exhale, stretch a little deeper. Again, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, come back up, rise up. Left arm's going to meet the right as we reach. And then exhale, we'll hinge the other way, right forearm to right thigh. Left arm reaches straight up. We can pull the left shoulder back in space, stacking. And exhale to extend the left fingertips overhead. Inhale, we create space and lengthen. Exhale, we extend deeper into the side stretch. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, rising back up, finding that contraction in the left side body to lift, reaching. And exhale, hands to heart. Chin to chest. We'll slowly release the hands down as we slowly rotate, bringing the outside edge of the right thigh towards the back of the chair. The left leg is going to come to meet it. We can bring the right hand to the top of the back of the chair, or maybe there's not a back of the chair, and your hand is just sitting on the, press, holding on to the back of the chair. But either way, the left arm is going to reach up. And exhale in around to the back of the chair, whether it's the top or the seat. Inhaling and lengthen. And exhale to twist. Inhale, sit taller. Exhale, twist a little deeper. One more deep breath in. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen and slowly unwind. And we'll slowly and gently make our way all the way around to the other side of our chair. Bringing the left thigh up against the back of the chair. 
The right thigh comes to meet it. We again root through the feet, sit tall through the spine. Left arm can rest on the top of the chair or the hand by the feet. Inhale, the right arm comes up. And exhale, that right arm to the back of the chair, whether it be the top or the base. Maybe the right hand sits at the outside of the thigh. That's okay, too. Inhaling to lengthen. Exhaling to twist. Each breath we get taller, each exhale we twist deeper, take one more deep breath in and deep breath out, inhaling to lengthen and slowly unwind, coming back to center, we slowly walk our folks back around. And perhaps scooting your sit bones towards the front of the chair and slowly releasing your back into the back of the chair. Releasing your hands to your thighs, maybe the palms are up or the palms are down. And just resting here for just a short Shavasana, allowing yourself to simply be just comfortable. The heels could reach out and the toes just Relax, the feet fall slightly open, and just finding yourself resting right here. Releasing the breath, surrendering to your feet. Letting go. the balls, the feet, the arches and the heels, the top to the feet and the ankles, perhaps even wiggling these body parts and then slowly releasing them, bringing your awareness to your shins and calves, up into the knees, your thighs, quads, hips, pelvis, and glutes, noticing your sacrum or your tailbone, and then inhaling all the way up through the spine, and all the way back down, noticing the muscles in your back as you release and then inhaling into the belly, exhaling to release the belly. Inhaling into the chest, the heart, the lungs, and releasing. Inhaling up into the shoulders, maybe the shoulders even hug up by the ears. And as you exhale, relaxing the shoulders down away from the ears. Relaxing the arms, elbows, forearms, wrists, hands and fingers. Simply surrendering. Bringing your awareness back up into your throat as you breathe in. Relaxing the neck and the throat. Again, relaxing the chin and the jaw, tongue, teeth, and lips. Relaxing your cheeks, nose, ears, temples, your eyelids and your eyeballs. Relaxing your eyebrows, your third eye, your forehead, the crown of your head, and the back of your head. And simply allowing yourself to simply be releasing the breath, just allowing the gentle, natural breath to flow in and out.
noticing perhaps this thought creep in and then simply letting them pass. Giving yourself permission to stay here as long as you wish for your Shavasana. Thank you all for joining me today in your chair on your mat. The light in me humbly bows to the light in each of you. Namaste.